Hello folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. You know how I'm a tool junkie. I love them, can't help it. Probably have 45 hammers at the ranch. And I'm also a carpenter. Found a new tool I had to have. Pretty nice. And my wife actually liked it. So we're good to go. Come along, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. New tool at the ranch. We're looking at a 16 ounce S-Wing hammer. Now the S-Wing hammer is not only assembled in the United States, it's made in the United States. And that means that you would think it's the same thing, but it's not. This is a handmade tool. Somebody actually polished this, um, forged it. It's, when I say forged it, I'm not talking like beating it in, but uh, they poured it, they casted it, it's, it's a really neat thing. There's a lot of stuff on the internet on how they do this. But S-Wing is not a, um, what do they call it, a Costetto, Costetto rent, um, hammer, which a lot of my professional carpenter friends are switching over to. This is a working man's unit. I would say the Stiletto is more of the snap-on type of tool, which is a nice tool. But my grandpa ranched for a long time without ever having a snap-on tool. So there, there's a difference, there really is. Um, so we're not gonna get into that argument. What we're gonna talk about, bang for your buck. The S-Wing hammer is an unbelievable hammer. In fact, my dad um, and all of his colleagues in um, carpentry, construction, um, grew up and most of them wanted an S-Wing hammer if they could afford it. This is a hammer that will be passed down to your children's children. This is not a generic hammer. It's not a, um, you know, the fad type hammer. This is a hammer that's been around for, I think some, in the 20s, in 1920s, it might even say on here actually. Uh, I'll post it. But anyways, it has its clear cut um, end on it, United States. I love how they advertise USA. Um, S-Wing, it's pronounced S-Wing. This is the leather handled hammer. Now I have many S-Wing hammers um, and tools. S-Wing makes a lot of different tools, which they all have the same characteristics. They're all handmade um, and somebody actually touched them. That's pretty cool. A lot on the internet, like I said, we're not really doing an interview on that. This is leather. So these are all individual, individually leather except for right here i think that's supposed to be bone and something else in there i suppose but this is all leather so there is some maintenance to that handle now this is the second tool i have with a leather handle and this is going to be my finished carpentry hammer um, i use a 16 ounce uh, straight claw this is a curved claw which is right here and this is going to be like i said for finished carpentry my straight claws are more so right out here, which you can use for a more general purpose hammer. Um, but this here is generally speaking for a more finished carpentry. Because it's finished carpentry, I wanted a leather handle. Now they wear in in time and they do darken. So either you can um, just treat them with, um, I don't know, probably uh, some kind of uh, Oil, I suppose, linseed oil would probably work pretty good on that. Or you could just keep a, a thin coat of polyurethane on on there and uh, and keep it like so. Uh, the newer S-Wing is a little thicker right here, which this would be the only drawback to the hammer. But like I said, for finished work, it's not such a big deal. Oftentimes, if you're trying to push a piece of siding up or something with this, um, this will dent. It'll dent wood for sure, and it will dent metal. Um, and, you know, your uh, synthetic sidings and such like, um, that will dent. Where a rubber-handled hammer won't do that. It's actually kind of a dual-purpose end on your hammer. When I find a tool of that kind of quality, or craftsmanship, I should say, rather, where every, every line just blends in, it's just polished perfectly. I don't know if you can see that exactly, but it just, look at the curvature of the, the, the tool itself. It just completely, completely really a work of art. 
And we're talking about a work of art that you can get this bought for under 30 bucks. Just a beautiful, look at that. Look at that leather. And this is brand spanking new. USA made. It's got a good feel to it. Really a good feel to it. Um, when I find quality like this, I am apt to buy it. Just because I love quality. I love it. Absolutely love the curvatures. It's, it's a shapely, shapely hammer. Beautiful. Look at how it comes down in here. That's something Captain America would use. <laughs> Look at the shapeliness of this hammer. Can you see that, folks? Look at that. Just how it comes into itself. It looks like a Corvette almost. Mustang. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. And it's something that'll be passed down from one generation to the next. I am, I am a, a junkie when it comes to quality. My wife and kids always make fun of me because when I find a quality tool, it is often that you find this on my bedside or, or my wife is, is like, ooh, that's cold, or it's in bed. I fall asleep looking at it until it gets dirty. And then, then I just use the tar out of them. But uh, what a beautiful tool. S-Wing, again, your hammer that you've used for generations. This is an old, old design. Beautiful tool. I don't know that you could improve much on that hammer. What a beautiful carpenter's hammer. Thank you for watching. What you can do to say thank you is hit the thumbs up button. You can also leave a comment, let us know what we're doing right or doing wrong, your personal experience with this product in this case. Um, also, you can hit the button right next to subscribe and that will give you a little ding when we make a new video. Also, you can share us with your friends and family. Until next time, this is Luke Simons, Back to the Basics 101. Happy trails.